Okay, everybody, so this is part two of my General Lee. Um, the gentleman bought it two months ago. I still have it. You can see that in the background. And uh, the next day he was supposed to pick it up, and something came up. He had some family issues going. So it's been about two months. He contacted me the other day, and uh, we want to make the deal happen. So, uh, we're co he's coming over here in a few minutes. We're going to sign some paperwork. And then, um, in a day or two, then he's going to pick up the General Lee. So that's why I still have it. And uh, I've been just basically holding it for him for about two months. Okay, so the gentleman left. We signed some paperwork. And if everything goes well tomorrow, um, we're going, going to go to the bank, make the deal, and then he's going to tow the generally home. So just taking some last little video. Like I said, I am going to try to get it when we load it up on, he has a flatbed. So, and of course I got the holes here. I just took her for a little spin. I got my little truck over here. I'll be doing more garage videos like this. I like doing these for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy them. You know what? I'm going to open up the hood and show you show you guys the engine really quick. Okay, here's the original engine. It's the original 383 that came with the car in 1969. So first. Here's some stars and scroll work. My dad painted this pan here. My dad did the scroll work. And my dad put these stars on for me. These stars usually go on the 1950s cars on the skirts that cover up the back tire. But we put four of them on here because it's a four-star general, the General Lee. And we got two... Two more stars right here. And right there. And then we got the Dixie horns. So he's not running right now. But he does play Dixie just like just like on the Dukes of Azar TV show. My dad painted Charger on there. And my dad did this all freehand. And he wasn't an artist. But he was good at doing things like that. So the engine's real dusty, as you can see. But so I've put on chrome valve covers, chrome air cleaner cover. And this was done like 40 years ago because uh, this last past November, a month ago, I've now had this car for 42 years. And I'll be selling him tomorrow. So there's a little look at the engine. My dad and I undercoated underneath the hood and underneath the car. So when this car drives on the road, it's pretty quiet. So that little generally car here. And we got one on the aerial. That's really hard to see now. The car is dustier than it was before. I showed you two months ago on the first video because now it's been sitting about two months without the car cover. So it's a little bit extra dirty. Okay, I just taken some extra footage for you guys because uh, like I said, if everything goes well tomorrow, the generally will be towed out of here once and for all, unfortunately. So I'm getting a little sad now, but uh, it'll be okay. It's for the best. He's going to real good home, like I said in other videos. The gentleman who's buying this car, the General Lee, is the one 
we got my Oldsmobile running, this car right here. He has a really, really big shop here in Las Vegas, and he has a really, really good crew. And he's going to be taking the General Lee to car shows up here and all kinds of neat car events. So he's really going to a good home. He couldn't be going to a better home. So I'm proud of that. I found him a good home. A lot of guys want cars, but they get home, they don't appreciate them and take care of them. So this gentleman's really going to take care of the generally, and I can go visit him anytime I want. The car shows at his shop anytime. So I'm really happy about that. So this car is staying in Las Vegas. Okay, that'll do it for now. And then, uh, well, tomorrow will be the big day. Okay, everybody, so today's the big day. Got the General Lee behind me right there. The gentleman is coming to pick him up in a few minutes. And I'm going to try to get video of us loading the General Lee on his flatbed. So here's one look at the General Lee. I almost said my General Lee. <laughs> it's not mine anymore. We did the paperwork and took care of the money last Friday, but um, things took a while, so it's a few days later, so he's on his way now to come and get his general lease. I thought I'd give you guys one last look before he gets here, and we load it on his flatbed. It's a really nice day out. Got the old sitting out. It's a little cloudy earlier, but it's looking really, really, really nice right now. So, yeah, a little sad right now, but I'm happy it's going to a good home. Like I said, the guy owns the hot rod shop out here. A classic car restoration shop. He's the one that got my Oldsmobile running, as I mentioned before. And he's going to get the generally running. And the General Lee was sitting um, as long as my Oldsmobile, about 17 years or so. Show you the inside real quick. That was a beautiful dark green. I think I showed the inside in the other video. It's all the original interior. Beautiful dark green. I don't know the name of the color. And I always like this is charger right on the door. And that orange came like that from factory. And it pretty much matches the General Lee orange. So that was just a coincidence. Okay, well, he should be here any minute, guys. Okay, we got the general out into the street. And there he is, ready to be loaded up. And one last time <laughs> on this street.
That's the gentleman right here who bought the car. His name is Whiskey. He's the one that owns the hot rod shop. And he's the one that got my Oldsmobile running. And he's getting ready to hook it up and put it on the trailer. Goes to generally up on the pod bed. Looks like it's ready for a jump right now, right? Like the angle it's on, so we do some as it jump. He's all loaded up, guys.